Hey guys, today is Sunday, but I'm here in the office because we have to come here and work out on all orders with all guys who decide to support us before our store closure. We really appreciate it and we'll make sure all boxes get out. But as long as I'm here, everybody left, but I think that I can make a video for you. And especially, uh, I owe this review to EK because they gave me this example a couple of weeks ago. I never had a chance to even to work on it. And what we're talking about is Dual Bay Reservoir for D5. I asked EK to make it about two years ago. So as we discussed on CIS, not this one, the one before. So it took a while for EK to work on this because you know they focus more often on GPUs and other items but finally they come up with this unit I never saw it except of the picture itself fully sealed so we'll open together look together I give you my honest opinion uh, potentially I'm looking to include this in our flex kits as alternative to existing reservoirs um, there's always room to a middle ground. We have a problem right now with this particular type of the reservoir that have overly expensive coolants, great quality and everything, but it's, you know, more than 100 bucks. Well, and even worse in Europe. And um, also we have a super cheap reservoirs from, like, for example, like SPC, but they're not always the quality on the highest point. So there's always trade-offs. Um, frozen Q usually quality below freezing point and also expensive so we need something in the middle which is not too expensive but doesn't break and uh, does the job so let's look on this thing together I will try even to install pump for you but I don't have time to set up the entire thing and put it on the water so we don't do that but at least we have some idea what it takes to install pump how it's easy or not and we try to take best guess from the visuals all right, let's uh, have a look on this thingy. So we have our box fully sealed and um, just open it up together and see what we can do with it. All right. Let's look on components we're getting. Reservoir itself, retention bracket for D5. We have a whole set of screws and uh, coring, all the parts that are required. I still believe I have to have my own screwdriver, but um, that was expected. And uh, manual. All right, let's have a look in the reservoir itself before we're actually doing anything. Okay, hard to show you because I have to look on it from my point of view and you're looking kind of from the opposite side, but nevertheless. So we have the same um, full acetal body as for uh, spin series, as I can see. And the uh, front acrylic glass on the front attached with the screws. Uh, similar how it's uh, done on uh, frozen Q models. The only difference is that they machined um, thicker walls and um, I don't see any cracks anywhere where the screws goes, which is a good sign. And the uh, screws is not recessed. So could be nice probably to have them to go flash, but um, what will probably add to extra to the product cost because it will be extra step. And of course, we have uh, this uh, logo thingy from a K. Um, I'm not a big fan of um, this uh, over budging over labeling products, but um, EK very firm on the way how they would like to push their brand and um, in a way it works for them. So that's just personal thing. And uh, so what we have inside, I can see this as you see this is a metal panel and what it does is uh, routing the liquid from pump. Um, as I can see, this is inlet from outside. So we have inlet coming 
um, from whatever and it goes to the pump itself right oh actually it's totally opposite sorry the inlet is in the middle of the pump so it's a hole in the middle and um, then pump push it from outside and it goes out here so inlet will be right right in the bottom which is okay and um, outlet will be on the top and I'll have additional fill port on the top as well I wonder if this um, what's the size of this thing oh yeah well I think they decide to go the same way as SSPC does which I personally don't really like so they make the bigger hole on the top here and we have this humongous uh, stop plug um, that goes here um, and uh, I think the logic why they do is they want to give us a bigger hole for filling purposes but a lot of people want to run some sort of extension tube from, from the fill port and this non-standard threading actually big pain of the ass so I, I I would rather don't do it I just put a quarter G um, threading here but well I guess they decided to take a note from XSPC models uh, which not everybody like but okay fine and uh, <clears throat> what we have uh, on the on the sides there is a uh, the anti vibration uh, rubber inserts with um, metal inserts for the screws to have screws itself yeah we do alrighty so um, I also can see that in the middle of the reservoir we have this acrylic ins insert port um, not port but this is piece of plastic in the middle that uh, I think the way they want to do it is uh, to help um, bubbles um, bleeding purposes for the reservoir so what the, what is expected is we have a uh, all liquid coming in in the middle here in the bottom port and um, this I think supposed to break um, flow and uh, allow bubbles goes up I, I'm not sure if it works really well because usually bubbles very very tiny and this hole is pretty big so I'm not sure how much it will help but um, without testing it's really hard to say um, it also what this um, it doesn't even say uh, what this thing is so I can't I can't really tell well top port unlike XSPC it's a G38 which means that the XSPC uh, fittings will not work with it so it's it's um, 38 thread which is actually very good news because there's a variety of fittings available with 38 threading so in this case we have a little bit more variety because m20 thread used on xspc reservoirs it basically there's no fittings like this right so we all have to use some sort of adapter so this is a little bit better decision in my opinion all right so let's see what what we can do to installation bunch of screws one two three four five six seven eight eight screws that we need so it's um, a little bit overkill pretty sure six will be work just fine but um, eight fine it will be even stronger so what we do we have a pump here so we'll just uh, put bracket on and um, o-ring o-ring is not standard so you can't use whatever comes with your um, pump so we use whatever provided by and um, I don't want to scratch it so I put it here uh, they make any difference yeah there is Actually, they are not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> it looks like fully symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. Okay. And um, I wonder why they want those uh, 
those additional threads that probably for a reservoir mount or something for different model not for this one because we already have a reservoir here well installation I'm pretty sure would be quite easy actually we don't need screwdriver because they have a this is a special type of head and they give us this um, little thingy that allows us to assemble unit without any additional tools. Of course your screwdriver will be a little bit more convenient, but if you don't have, no big deal. The whole thing feels pretty solid, which is great. Um, which means that it can stand certain abuse. And um, also because there is plastic, amount of plastic used on all parts is um, very thick. It means that there will be no warping or um, any other dangers of the um, um, deforming of the reservoir that may lead to the leak leakage so this is good okay so you can see it literally takes couple minutes to attach pump and you're pretty much good to go and uh, that's how assembly will be like when you're fully done and see night need unit i like that it's really heavy and um, one piece of acetal is always more preferred than a glued solution so let's put fill port in, in place so this is a uh, assembled so what's left we have a couple screws i don't know what they're for oh no actually they are I missed one, that's for sure. And one is still extra. How many I need? Uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. So, I don't know, I guess one is extra. Uh, those little screws here um, for mounting a reservoir to 525 device. And, uh, well, well, I wish it would be a little bit less on the pricing point, but other than that, a definitely nice, nice unit. Um, I seriously would consider to switch uh, to this product in, um, in our uh, Flex uh, kits that we're providing right now, because now we use XSPC, they okay. And as a low-end model, the people who are more price sensitive, it, it will be fine. But people who want maybe a little bit step up, this unit will be much better because the coolant is totally out of the question. It's just too much money. But uh, um, for this unit, is uh, actually not bad. So we can we can consider it. All right. So what else we have here? Well, not much really. I can put this. So we have a. Uh, this additional tool for the top port well guys what can i say um, would be nice if they also come up maybe with acrylic units or people who want to get um, any sort of um, a light effect might uh, put led or anything like this right now there no way you can put any sort of light in this particular reservoir why because all that we have provided is port in and port out right so if you want to put a stop plug with led we cannot uh, so it, it wouldn't work this way um, it would be too much trouble for ek to drill extra hole here just for that purposes but uh, they didn't so it's not available and uh, unless they come up with a fully acrylic version 
uh, this reservoir will not have any lights whatsoever uh, which is not big deal for some people but uh, other people prefer to have a little bit more stuff going on in their build so that i would put as a minor disadvantage of this model um, also screws i would prefer to drill a little bit um, uh, space here and put them in they have a really low uh, heads you can see the barely one millimeter but uh, again when it's flush it would be a little bit nicer and um, other than that it looks pretty good model um, it's actually even remind me in a way of the uh, feel like feel in hands and everything how it's finished um, on the coolants which is actually not bad um, i disagree with how coolants put pumps upside down which is totally against laying recommended way to do it but the reservoir itself it's just executed exceptionally well and uh, this is, has pretty much the same solid feeling so definitely something um, I would consider to use if I would like bare reservoir. You know, guys, I prefer tube reservoir and that's the only thing I can use. But uh, if there's no choice inside, that's, that's acceptable. So it's not bad unit at all. Um, well, it took the case for a while to make it, but they did a pretty good job. So for me, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, that's all. I hope I can edit and upload video tonight. And uh, so we have something to watch while I'm out. Thank you for watching and thank you for all your support of Dasmod. I appreciate your patience while I was a long time not making anything and you didn't run away, which is really nice. All right, guys, see you soon.